Well, at this point, what we're going to talk about is working with a PNG. Well, we had discussed a little bit about working with our GIF a little bit earlier. And as you can see, a PNG is a really great option and choice when you're working in this fashion as well. Let's take a look. Save for web devices. And as you can see, the JPEG was one thing, certainly, but it didn't really suit this particular image that we had created. On the other hand, a GIF gave us, you know, nice 3.15K image when we were using 128 colors. Actually, it's really only 126 colors. And as you can see, um, diffusion specifies the dither algorithm. Now, the dither here specifies the amount of dither. What we're really doing with that amount is determining exactly how much of the separation of those images are going to take place. It's not really something that's applicable in this case. As you can see here, 100% dither is increasing the size a little bit. If I set this to 50% dither, it really does nothing in this particular image and how it's going to work. So not really all that important for us at this stage in the game. We're going to keep it at 100. However, if I were to go down to say actually let me come in here and I'll put this as the GIF and we can compare to that one on, on the other hand I'm going to come in here and choose PNG now PNG 24 is something that is great and what it allows us to do is to really work well with transparencies and in the next video I'm going to show you a little bit more about those transparencies and how they work however at this point we don't have any number of options in here. It's just 24, uh, 24, well, actually, we've got four channels of information, each channel with eight bits inside of them. And here, the third channel is supported for transparency. On the other hand, if we go to a PNG 8, you'll see that it pretty much gives you the same amount of information that we had when we were working with the GIF. On the other hand, though, if you keep all of these, you know, sets of information the same, you'll notice that even despite the fact, well, this one's set to 50 dither, I'm just going to bring that back up to 100. You'll see here 3.15, but here, if I'm using the PNG 8, it's shaved off a little bit of K. Even if it's only a few bytes that it's shaved off, that's still good. Every byte counts. So you might be wondering, I mean, why would I use the GIF over the PNG? Well, that's something that was really important a number of years back when very old browsers did not support PNGs. Now, most modern browsers all support PNGs. The one thing that you have to keep in mind is that PNG transparency may not be supported in all modern browsers, specifically the Internet Explorer browser. However, since there is no transparency here, I could use a PNG 8 instead of a GIF. And the reason specifically is just because it's going to give us the same amount of settings, same amount of colors that I'm using before, but it gives you a smaller size. So in this case, why not use a PNG 8? It's much better for you. However, when we come back in the next video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about transparencies and we'll sort of explore some of the differences there.